In this video, we're going to talk about how I make my labels for my meats. Hey, this is Man Made Mead. Today we're going to be talking about my mead labels and um, how I make them, what I do to you know get them on the bottle, yada yada. That That's the easy part. Um, I'm going to give you some options, some easy options for making some labels and then I'll also tell you how I do it, which I would consider to be a little bit more difficult. You have to know a little bit about the tech side of things. So um, the way I make mine, I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. I had a friend help me uh, and you know, she designed my label, she drew everything for me, and um, she did a bunch of different hand signs, so that's why I have different uh, sign language hands, and I also have, of course, the faces I've you might have seen on some of my other um, labels, but she designed these, she designed the whole thing, and basically gave me Adobe Illustrator files with each different one, and I'll show you here. Um, this is kind of what it looks like before I print it out, of course. Um, this is in Adobe Illustrator. This is a little bit confusing because if you don't ever use Adobe Illustrator, you're probably going to be spending time learning it. So this is, if you have the ability and you have the time to figure this out, I would suggest it. So I bring my labels into here. I edit the information as I need them. So this is my Blackberry Bracket, but let's say it's the Blueberry Mead. Then um, I could change that information out. If I wanted to change colors, I'm not going to go in depth with this, but I can change the colors of everything and say I wanted to make it blue, I can make this hand blue and go through and do all that stuff. Then once I get this, I take and I highlight it, I copy it over and I put it onto a sheet of six. Now this is obviously a different one, but I put them on a sheet like this and they all have the right information and all the things you need to know. Then I uh, have them printed out at my local quick print. Um, and I don't, obviously you might not have quick print local to you, but find your local print shop and get it printed on a, I call it glossy sticker paper and they know what I mean. Basically it's just sticker paper that comes apart like this. You can kind of see and then it peels off and it's a sticker back behind. So you can have them cut it or you can cut it yourself. And um, I cut it myself because it's expensive to have them cut it, but I get six labels per sheet and I print out as many as I need. So I do all my stuff in Illustrator and again, she designed these labels for me. So it's not like I am the mastermind that figured out how to make these all look really great. Honestly, I just put new information in, I change colors, I do small edits. So that's my method. For those of you who want to know how I make mine, I get them printed on this glossy sticker paper and cut them myself. So let's talk about some options for you. First one, we're going to go up here and we're going to look at this Amazon option. As I was um, thinking about this video, I wanted to give you guys options if you don't use Illustrator and those various things for making your own. So here's one that I saw. This is on Amazon. Um, this is the Neato blank beer bottle labels, 10 sheets, 40 total label labels for 14 bucks. That's actually a really good deal. Um, so I think, you know, I'd recommend checking this one out. But the thing with this one that interests me is that it comes with a software. So if you, uh, where is it at? So you can kind of see here this lady or who man, whoever this is, is uh, designing all of it in her software. I don't know how accessible and how easy to use the software is, but this is an option. I mean, look at that one. I'm sure you can throw in your own graphics, you can throw in your own information, all those various things. That's a really good deal. 14 bucks for 40 labels. Well, it's not a really good deal. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, obviously, you'd have to have a printer to do that at home, probably a color printer, <laughs> printer to do this at home. So that's uh, one option. I'm sure there are other ones on Amazon. I have not done that much research on the Amazon portion. Here's some website ones. This is from, um, this is also from Adobe. This is the Adobe Spark app and they have a bunch of options too. You can find this online. And I'll of course be putting the information down below, but this is a beer label. So let's say I wanted that one right there. Open this up. Okay, well now it's gonna make me log in and go through a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I have, uh, I've gotten to Adobe Spark. You can do this, I think there's a free trial, some various things, check it out if you want. But this one, you could change things as you want. This is actually a really easy system. Um, 
you know, if I wanted to change the wording, um, elderberry mead, then go through, you can change all the stuff. I'm not going to go crazy with this, but um, essentially what, I'm, what I do want to show you is that the uh, this is a, a decent system to be able to do this. So Adobe Spark is an option for you. Once you get them here, you can go through and print them out and do that stuff. So let's talk about a next one. This is onlinelabels.com. Um, you can have them print these. This is one of the websites that you design it through their uh, stuff and then they print it. Or you can have them print it. Let um, print myself print myself using blank labels, blah blah blah. Um, so you could just order a bunch of labels and uh, have them or order a bunch of labels and you do the same idea of designing. Um, here's another one. This is Evermine. I don't know what this is, but you've got some beer label options. Really, all I did was Google um, beer label designing and came up with these. This is um, another, oh, this is a template I found. I looked at beer label templates, and you can find these and download these. Obviously, this is, they have, uh, they have a lot of options. They're a little bit, you're a little bit stuck to making them look a certain way so you can't design as much as more of just put information in but here's an option for you a bunch of different labels again check the description this is just me googling but I do want to emphasize that the um, the beer bottle like the making side of this is is a little bit harder if you want to make them look really nice so you do have to have a little bit of a design idea if you don't have very very much design experience, go through and take one of the um, templates that people already have that have the graphics in it and just throw your information in and you can do that. While it won't be unique, quote, it still will be labeled. My last option I do want to recommend is uh, I got these off of Amazon. This, you can't really tell, it looks like a sheet of paper, but this is a, these are, are labels that are washable because they are like a corn sugar. Anyways, these, this whole sheet has, I think, like 36 labels on it or something in total. But what I do with these is I, I use them as temporary labels. I write down on it that this is my Blackberry Mead, and then I put the date on it, whatever, until I get to my, my bigger labels. If you want to use these, you can find um, actual templates for these papers, print out your information, or go into the template, fill in your information, and you have just a smaller label. I mean, these labels are, are tiny. That's like, you know, just enough to really tell you what it is. You're not designing anything crazy. But uh, I hope I've informed you, informed you on how I at least make my labels. Um, I, again, I hesitated some because I know some of you are not able to do the Adobe InDesign. You're not able to do these extra things. Um, I am in this world because I do a lot of editing. So. Uh, that's how I do mine. Check out the other options. L let me know down below, how do you make your labels? Um, maybe you have a better system than me. You might know of something better. You can always take and find a label design online and then I most of them have like a template and you can pull it into Microsoft Paint, you can pull it into Microsoft Word, um, anything like that to fill in the information. But Big thing for me is make sure you are labeling your stuff. You're not just letting it, you're not, you know, you're not just putting bottles away and not knowing what they are. And uh, of course you're writing down the information for each one. So that's how I do it. Hope you have learned something. Um, I probably will not do a lot of stuff about Illustrator and how I make my labels in Illustrator because again, this is a very niche thing and not many people use it. So there is this thing called the Adobe Creative Cloud, which is Photoshop, InDesign, Premiere Pro, all the stuff for editing you could ever need that you could get. And uh, that's actually what I use for all of my editing in general. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching my stuff. Make sure you hit like if you like this video and ask questions down below and check out the links. So appreciate y'all. Have a great day. Cheers.